All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, this is going to be response number three for uh, uh, Wrestling Jesus. Here we are. It's not on my cell phone. Um, it's not uh, it's shitty quality. Because guess what? I could do this too. Because at one time I was one of the best in the world at this YouTube game as well, just like yourself. Now, we keep going on and on about... Um, about wrestling and comparisons to the prior years and uh, whatnot. Now we're we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna get into this a little bit. Now, when you go to a live show today, what do they do before the show starts? Woo! Exactly. Everybody in the arena is going woo. When you go to a live show, the guy in the the guy in the crowd. The guy in the crowd. What's he talking about? He's talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's talking about The Rock. Is he talking about anything that's going on on the show today? Doubt it. Um, what I see legit uh, with the WWE today is a product that's become uh, very stagnant, uh, very stale, very predictable, and at times uh, very, very angering to watch almost to the point of just complete frustration to watch now, I don't know what it was for me that, that, that made me feel this way I possibly it's the fact that you know I got busy and stuff and you know I got my own place and a lot to take care of and I can't believe I'm standing here with my nice camera doing this again I, I I'm in a bit of shock I didn't see that coming um, it was possibly the Goldberg and Lesnar uh, fiasco that really really upset me now Goldberg and Lesnar last year what was it November Survivor Series man I'll tell you I wasn't watching Raw at the time I knew those guys were gonna fight at Survivor Series and um, I, I went into the pay-per-view that whole weekend and I was legit excited about Lesnar and Goldberg fighting at Survivor Series and then it came and it was a huge disappointment to me and I was really, really upset. Um, I think I really put a bad taste in my mouth to the point where, you know, I started getting interested in other things. So maybe to wrestling Jesus. Maybe a lot of this is me because my interests have changed and whatnot. I, I haven't been doing the wrestling DVDs and stuff. Um, maybe my interests have changed. You know, and whatnot. Maybe it's the fact that Monday Night Raw uh, here doesn't start till 8 p.m. And I work at midnight, which uh, creates a challenge. Maybe some of this is on me, you know. But I just watched the show, and I almost feel more anger towards the WWE um, in regards. I'm like, man, this is just so angering to watch. Watching all these new kids come up from NXT. I always felt like the new guys in wrestling had their place. If you brought them up slowly, you brought up one, you put him on TV for a couple weeks, you developed him, and then he became not a new guy anymore. Last year after WrestleMania, they brought up 50 new guys out like on the same show. And, and really, when I was watching Raw after WrestleMania 32, I saw a new guy after new guy after new guy after new guy. And I went, what in the hell? is this what am i watching here they're forcing me to watch nxt when i'm used to watching the same i'm, I'm used to watching the same thing on raw i'm used to watching the same format and now i'm watching raw with a bunch of guys that i have no clue you know I, they started turning the ropes purple with the cruiserweight division and i went what the fuck they started bringing in all these characters because I, I never paid much attention to nxt they started bringing all these guys and I'm just, I'm just scratching my head. I'm like, there's no point watching this. Uh, there's no Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's no Rock. There's no Undertaker, Bret Hart. Um, there's no, there's no none of this. There's a bunch of guys who I don't know wrestling with a guy like Michael Cole calling it with no passion for the game and, and the, the saturation of the product. You know, I mean, I feel like I can miss a WWE pay-per-view and I'm not missing that much. You know, back in the day, the pay-per-views were must-see. Undertaker's going to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin at SummerSlam. You needed to see the damn thing. 
Mick Foley's going to fight The Undertaker uh, at the King of the Ring in the Hell in the Cell. You need to see that shit. Uh, Shawn Michaels is going to wrestle uh, Mankind, you know, for the title. You need to see that shit. Sid's going to wrestle Shawn Michaels for the belt. You need to see that shit. Hulk Hogan's going to defend the title against the Macho Man. You need to see that shit. Uh, uh, Strowman versus uh, Reigns. I don't need to see it. You know, I, I'm i okay without seeing it. You know, I, my life will go on without seeing it for the 10,000th time. And then the next day they'll take a damn picture on Instagram together. So you know the shit's not even real. You know, I, I mean shit like that. I mean WWE is so angering to me. You know, everything they do is just so angering to me. And so when I hear a guy like Wrestling Jesus, who is a friend, you know, when I hear him, I, I promote this shit. I know it's fucking boring to you. You're the same as me, dude. This shit's boring to you. It has to be. There's no way you could sit through these jabroni NXT guys and fucking like this shit. It's impossible. So you wanted a real response? Make fun of the camera now. Make fun of the quality now because I could get back into the shit anytime and still be one of the best goddamn people on here. Straight up.